I love small things, small packages. It just, I don't know, creates something very special about something small. So this small package could be anything. It could be something very exciting. And to me it is, and I love a blank slate. Now this is going to be something that you're going to create something fun and something different and something original. Now this little piece in here is actually gonna be on the top for you to create whatever you decide. I'm gonna give you a couple of ideas, but maybe this will spark an idea for you. So in here, we have the accordion that fits inside the little tin. And I'm gonna show you a little technique that I use sometimes. And right now I'm gonna bend it the other way just so that I can kind of get a flat surface. And so for this, tech, for this technique, I'm gonna need some clean water. So I grabbed a little cup with some clean water. I need a clean paintbrush. Of course, we're gonna need a little bit of paint. And you can use um, any type of paint for this, but we're gonna, I'm gonna use acrylic but we're gonna start and we're just going to get some water. And I'm just trying to mimic the size of this shape, right? So this very little thing. And so I'm just gonna use a little tiny bit of color, not even that much, right? So I'm just, I'm just getting a little bit of color on here. Not that much. I've got a paper towel close by that I can wipe that off a little bit. And it's just ever so slightly, almost looks like a watercolor. And I've got another bin close by too for rinsing because I wanna keep this water super duper clean. We're gonna go through and do another one. And you kinda, because I'm using acrylic, we're just gonna go and do this one and do this color. Because I'm using acrylic, we wanna do just one at a time. Because with acrylic, unlike watercolor, once it dries, it stays put. So I've added a little more water. And I'm just putting the tip of the brush in there. And I'm just blending it. You can always add more. It's a little bit harder to take away. And so there's a lot of water there. And we're just gonna let that kind of sit on that page. And again, I'm using my other tub to kind of clean my brush so that I'm starting with clean water every single time. And I'm gonna go with this other color. This one's a little bit stronger of a color. Again, I'm not going all the way to the edge. And I'm gonna wipe some of this off because I feel like this is a little bit stronger of a look than I wanted. So, and if you feel like, oh no, you know, it's too strong of a look, take that paper towel and just stab it a little bit and then get that water and just lift it up a little bit. And there we go, it's a little bit softer. There we go. So we're just keeping a very soft look. I've got nice and wet color. 
And let's go for the orange and see. How it looks. So we're just keeping this nice and pastel. Keeping a very soft look. And let's do the next color. Get that. Whoops, I may have put way too much lemon on there. And so we're just getting the middle of that square. We want it super wet just so you can see how some of the areas puddle and you're going to have some areas that are lighter than the other areas. And that's what we wanna see. And then we're gonna end with that same color. Although it might be very close. Let's see how it looks next to, oh no, it's good. It's got enough of a contrast. Okay, now remember that this is an accordion. So what happens when you have an accordion is you're gonna see both sides. So when you see both sides, what does that mean? That means we've gotta paint both sides. So that means we have to, we gotta paint both sides. We've gotta make sure that both sides have color. So we're gonna have to wait for this side to dry. And then we're gonna have to paint the other side. So we also wanna paint our cover and decide which color, you have to decide which color you like the best. And uh, I actually think I like, I like this color. At first I wasn't sure, but now I do. Once we added enough water to it, I'm actually liking it. Again, I think I added too much paint again. I'm gonna add more water to it. To make it more of a water look. So this is a good way to paint something to make it look like watercolor. Um, but when you want to make it permanent, because watercolor is not permanent. Watercolor, every time you get it wet or you drop some water on it, those dots will make a mark every single time. All right, so what I think I wanna do really quickly before this dries, I'm gonna spray it with this spray bottle. All right, so now you can see these are where the bigger drops were of water where it kind of pooled and they made these really cool little marks, which is why we wanted a lot of water. Now some of the lighter colors, it's a little bit harder to see, but they have these really nice designs. This one's still a little bit um, wet there, so we're still waiting for that one to dry, but that's okay because that's our cover. So we wanna flip this over and do this again. <laughs>
get some on the edges or in between, just clean that up with a paper towel. It's not a total big deal. And you can cover the entire thing. The other thing that you could do is you could do the entire thing and let those colors bleed into one another so that you can just make a continuous line as well. Um, and so that's something else that you can do, but we are going to let this dry really quickly and we'll get back to it. All right, so now that it's dry, we can fold it back up. It fits perfectly in our little box. And we have some decisions to make. So for the lid, we can adhere this with any adhesive with a glue or whatever but what you might want to do is decide what do you want to do with this box so and we have this little ribbon that we can tie it up and my thoughts for this box are it's a perfect size for a gift so wouldn't it be nice if we took this little box and for every little square that we could put a really nice thing for someone else like a note saying, I was thinking of you because I think you're really cool or different little sayings about someone else. Or what if you did a little drawing on every single spot? Or what if you did one big drawing on there and then you put a little note to someone on the top or on the back? You can do whatever you want on here. You could write somebody a long letter, just telling them that you're thinking about them because with this day of social distancing, you can still find a way to make somebody else feel special. And isn't that really what it's all about, is making somebody's day? I think that if somebody opened the door and found this little cute box, right, with your little note inside, and it had their little name on the outside, and it was tied up with this little ribbon, I think that would make somebody's day. I mean, that's just me, I'm just saying. So, I'm gonna put these little boxes in the shop because I happen to have a bunch of these little boxes, and I will be willing to cut up these little um, papers up for you guys and put them for you. And if I just get reimbursed for the boxes and the shipping, that would be awesome. And then you guys can make these for somebody. And I think that would be a really awesome surprise and make somebody's day. Something special that you made just for them. And I would love to see that you did that. And um, so if, when you do that, take a picture of it. Because <laughs> I want to see that you did it. Because I think that would be super cool. I think it would make somebody's day and make somebody feel super special. And I can't wait to see what you create next. Oh, and I almost forgot. So I am gonna put this little adhesive in there. So you just peel this back. And put this in here. Right. Put this on top. And I, I'm gonna cut these down to the size that you need. Cause I don't know if I'd have enough to give everybody one, but and then you just peel this back up. And then the adhesive will be on the back of your card, right? Oops, I didn't get it all. So you wanna burnish that really good. Obviously I didn't do a good job. <laughs> you wanna burnish that really, really good. So that adhesive sticks to your card. There it goes. And then stick that right on there. All right. And there you go. <laughs> All right, guys.